Hi, my name is Oscar Morataya, and today I'd like to talk to you about EasyDIYRemodel.com. This is an application that empowers you to do remodeling projects at your house. So today I'd like to talk to you briefly about what it does, and then later I'll show you how to actually use it in a real scenario. So let me start really quick here. What it does is it allows you to plan your project. You can draw everything that you're going to do. You can draw the entire house. And at the same time, our application will generate the walls and, and will show you how to separate the studs in case you're building a wall. And it will also show you how to how to do your plumbing. So in the future, we like to create the electrical system of the house and also enable you to get a permit, get a permit to to do your project with your local county. So there are a lot of things that we can do with this information. The next step, once you draw your house, you can take measurements of this, this model. So if you want to get an estimate from a contractor, you can actually share that with them and they will be able to take the measurements and they don't have to come into your house. So you can take measurements, you can create a list of fittings and materials that you need to buy for your project. And you can take that information with you on your phone. So you can go to the store and view the part that you're looking for and know the name of that part and ask the salesperson or even show the salesperson what it, what is actually that you are talking about. Uh, in addition to that, you could collaborate with a friend. Everybody has a friend that helps you with your projects. And you may have a contractor that, that you may want to share your house with and get an estimate. Or you go buy carpet to, to the store and you want to know the, the, uh, the square footage of your house or a room and things like that. So there's a lot of uses of this model that once you create it, you can use it for the lifetime that you own that house. And then when you sell the house, the next person can actually use the same information, which is really cool. So let me jump to the demo so you get a pretty good idea of how to do this. So here is the website. And again, you can access this on your computer, especially when you're gonna draw it for the first time. You may want to do it on your computer, your desktop, or your laptop with the mouse. It would be much, much easier. And once you have done it, you would go to your phone to look at it if you're at the store. So I'm going to use my account here. And you can use your Google account if you like to use that. Or you can type in a personal email address and log in. We make it very simple to do. Uh, once you are there uh, on the main page, you can type in the address that you want to draw. So this, this is really uh, a unique house that you can add. You cannot add two houses with the same address because it wouldn't make sense. So I could add my home and open it. Once I open it, you will go into the modeling space. And if you have a floor plan already there, then it will be loaded. If not, it'll just be blank. In this case, I already completed my, my floor plan. So this loading of the model once it is fully developed, it, it may take a few seconds to load. And the way you would go about doing this is you can right click and pan your drawing. If I wanted to draw this from scratch, I would use, I would start here with the exterior wall button. 
that will take you to this to the view and you can zoom in if you want to zoom in and you can create the outer walls of your house whatever the shape is you would draw it like that i already did that and it gives you the dimensions as well So notice that I will be very careful when I am adding these. I would make sure that it is the full length of the house, of course. And uh, I'm not doing that here because it's just a demo, but I wanted to give you an idea. So let me just undo that. In case you make a mistake, you can undo it. Yeah. And to once you are done doing the outer section or the outer walls then you would click the button and it would draw the walls for the house so i can quickly show you if i i have these filters the view options and i can hide the ceiling if i want to look at the house and then i can collapse that there is some floors here you can go to the basement or you can go to the first floor or second floor and so on you can add floors as well and i'm going to zoom in so the first step is creating the outer walls like i was showing you you use the exterior walls button and you draw these walls as they're shown here you try to keep it simple just to make it easier on yourself and it's a little bit uh, challenging to get all the dimensions but once you get it in um, it, it, uh, it's pretty simple to add fixtures and things like that and also if you don't want to do this we, we do have a service you draw a sketch of your house and we will draw the model for you so once you have done the the outer walls you can focus on the on the walls that go inside the house so if I wanted to draw a, uh, a closet right here, let's say, I could do that. And then bring it down a certain distance. And then close it like that. Okay. Um, so it could be a lot of different ways how to do it. And once you're done, you would you would click the button again and it would be it would be generated so that's just a simple example how you create the interior walls and, as well as the exterior walls uh, we're working to make it simpler you know and if you make a mistake sometimes you make a mistake you pick the basement and you wanted the first floor uh, you can always just just uh, right click on them and and uh, delete them. Actually, you double click on it and then delete the wall. If it doesn't have anything, if it doesn't have like a pipe going through it, that's gonna make it a lot simpler. So you left double click rather. Let me do that on it as well. The easiest way to delete these is to use the undo button. But I wanted to show you that you could go back and delete a wall that you created three months ago or something. Okay. Now you can name, you can name all these rooms. So my dining room is there and, and I could right click on it and say edit. Now you could zoom in if you wanted to see. So this is really handy if you want to write notes to a contractor or a friend who is helping you with the house and you want to tell them, oh, this, this, um, this toilet is so many inches from a wall or something like that. So I'm just going to show you an example where I can type an addition or edit uh, some text in the model. 
it's really cool because you write these comments right where you want the information to be available. Okay. So if I wanted to add a new one, I would go to the, the text. It's a label. You add a label. So I can, I can say I want to add a label here. Uh, paint. Living room. And light. Green. Let's say. So think about, oh, and I made a mistake, so I'm going to correct it. I'm going to try to correct it. Paint the paint living room. In light green. Okay. So these are really nice notes that you can leave for contractors and give them access to the drawing of your house and they can read it and understand what you wanted them to do. Uh, it's really, really nice. Now my favorite part, if you are talking to a contractor or a friend or you are buying something, drywall and, and other things. You can use the dimensions, the dimensions or the ruler options. So you can take measurements of, of, of two walls. You know, my girlfriend is always asking me to uh, measure uh, the size of the living room. You know, how large is it? So I can select this wall Let me try to see what I did wrong then. So I picked two parallel wall length. So I picked my first wall and then I picked the other one. And it tells me that it is 14 feet, three inches and seven eighths of an inch. So that's kind of nice. So one of my favorite things to do is taking the area of, of a wall because you want to do drywall, you want to paint, uh, and some other things that I cannot think of right now. So you could easily say, you know, I want the area of that wall, uh, and you want the area of that wall also. So it kind of, it kind of uh, helps you calculate the area of an entire room quite easily. And then you can go shopping for that paint or anything that you need. So that's really nice. You kind of add them up, but you know, not a big deal. It's better than having to measure them every time that you want to paint or something like that. So there is another option. You may want to choose, you may want to reset the operation there. And you may want to choose the the area on the floor of a room. And that's kind of a little bit tricky, you know, because, you know, I have four walls maybe that I want. Let me just try to do that. I want that wall, this wall, and this one. And that should give you pretty much the area of that room. So that's kind of handy if you're buying carpet and if you're carpeting the entire house, you know, you, it would be easier to have the entire floor area. And it gives it to you. <laughs> it gives you that, that area as well. So it's kind of, kind of, kind of handy to do that. Okay. The last topic that I would like to talk to you about is plumbing. Uh, EasyDIYRemodel.com enables you to look at your plumbing and see how you can upgrade portions of the plumbing system as your house gets older. So every 30 years, you're supposed to replace the plumbing, especially if you're doing a remodeling and you have the opportunity to open the walls, uh, remove the drywall, and you can look at the plumbing. You should take that opportunity to 
make your plumbing better, make sure that you're venting the right way and things like that. So plumbing is really critical for a house and easy do-it-yourself uh, rebuttal.com kind of shows you everything about plumbing, the drain and the vent system. So in this case, you have you have the vent system. This is the main stack coming down. It pulls air into your house to vent every fixture in your house. And then it shows you also the sweep of the, of the things. And that means this angle here. And that shows how your air flows into the house. So in this case, it is coming down to the toilet right here. And then down below, you can also connect to it and vent a vanity. So all these pipes could be in the wall and you don't know about them in your bathroom. And so we try to model that for you and hopefully you will be more careful when you're trying to nail something down on the wall. Okay. So the other thing is that if you wanted to remodel, you could look at, at moving the toilet, let's say, and you want to know how that would impact the drain down below. Is it going to be in one of the bedrooms downstairs? So you could, you could easily do that. I can just say right click on the fixture that I want to move and start moving it. And so that will redo your plumbing and how it, will, it should connect to the plumbing system. So in this case, it went directly to the main stack. So you can do things like that. Let me move it back. I wanted to put it right behind the, uh, the bathtub, but it didn't work that way. That's okay. So notice that it will try to feed some air to that toilet uh, quickly. So that's really neat. So let me go down below to, uh, so let me see. So if you look at the, I'm gonna remove some of the walls just to make it simpler. Now I can see more, but if you look at the, at the vanity, you can see that you have two vanities back to back. So we have been able to design that for you. So you can easily pick every single uh, piece of plumbing uh, pipe or fitting, and you can add it to the shopping cart to create a list of things that you need to buy to do your your um, your drain system for the uh, Vanity, if you will. So I'm going to go down below to the basement. Okay. And let me zoom out. So you'll find that. So in this case, it didn't do a, um, what I thought it would do. But I'm going to look at that later. So notice down below that you could see the toilet coming down here and connecting to the, to the main stack, that's the drain. And then you have the bathtub connecting as well. Now we did make some mistakes here, but I'll say that we are correcting some of those issues that you see in the drain with, with our plumbing. And then you have the, um, the bathtub coming here and then the other toilet the other toilet should have should have come this way but it didn't um because there's a a um a vent there so we're still tweaking the drain if you find any issues with it always check with your with your inspector of course but if you find some issues with it, please let us know and we'll try to correct them. So let me go down to, let me hide everything on the first floor and maybe hide, now I don't want to hide the pictures, but 
I'm gonna go down to the basement. Uh, hide the ceiling there. Okay. So I'll go down to the basement. So if you want to create a bathroom in the basement, you could also model that here. And it's quite um, good at doing things in the basement. You can easily see how it connects the vent to feed the the fixtures and then down below it tries to create one single line to to drain everything and then connect to the to the drain that goes from the main stack to out the, out of the house so a lot of good great things you you should be able to pick every single one of this every single one of these fittings and pipes and create a shopping list for you to go to go to the store and buy uh, what you need. So um, that concludes the plumbing section. I hope you guys see benefit in using this application and let me know how we can improve it with you. Uh, if you have any comments, please reach out to, to me or send an email to support at easydiyremodel.com and we'll be happy to assist you. Thank you.